Alright ladies, it is time to learn. I've got my reading glasses on and I'm here to educate you on dilation and effacement. What happens when you go into labor. Yay! So dilation is the opening of the cervix. And effacement is the thinning of the cervix. Now dilation is measured in centimeters and effacement is measured in a percentage. So the higher percentage, the, the, the thinner your cervix is. The higher the centimeters, the bigger the opening of your cervix is. All right, so when your cervix is dilating, it is creating this pathway to the birth canal for your baby to come out. Um, the, the biggest your cervix is gonna get is about 10 centimeters, which is the average circumference of a baby's head. So, um, when your cervix opens, it's going to allow your baby to come out of your uterus, go down your birth canal, birth canal and out of your vagina, and then you have a baby. Yay! Now, effacement is the thinning of your cervix. The thinner your cervix is, the... Um, well, the way they explained it is, it is the thinner your cervix is, the, the less visible it is. So the thinner it gets, the more it kind of like disappears, and and again it allows you to give birth. Um, now, dilation and effacement is caused by the contractions of your uterus. So the more frequent your contractions are, the um, the more you're going to dilate, usually. Um, and then. How they measure dilation is they're gonna they're gonna stick your hand, their hand, up in your vagina, and they're gonna measure it with your fingers. Now one finger is, is approximately one centimeter, so two is approximately two centimeters. So the bigger you get, the more of a hand they're gonna shove up in your cervix. So they're just gonna go up into your vagina, up into your cervix, and they're gonna measure how how big your cervix is. In that way, they'll they'll be able to determine. Um, when you're going to be able to start pushing. Now as soon as you hit 10 centimeters, it's time to push and you can have a baby. That is if everything all goes well and your baby's head down and you know, perfect pregnancy and you just push it right on out. Um, and also it is very normal to be dilated to up to about 2 centimeters the last few weeks of your pregnancy. Totally normal to be walking around a couple centimeters dilated. Now, when it gets up to four centimeters, that's when they're probably going to admit you into labor delivery, and they're going to keep you there and be um, be checking up on you and all that. So, and then the longer you stay at a centimeter, they'll probably um, bring in options of pitocin to, uh, um, to hurry up your hurry up your dilation, hurry up your delivery, and you can hurry up and get your baby out. All right. So, um, hope you guys learned a few things. Um, don't be scared of them, like, sticking their hand up in you, because a hand is totally different than a baby. Totally different. You're not gonna... <sighs> so, if you are in these final stages of pregnancy, congratulations. You're gonna have a baby. Or babies. Whatever. Uh, so I hope you learned something, and I hope I um, educated you with me and my reading glasses.